Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AirDrop feature. AirDrop allows you to share files between your Mac and your iOS devices, and also vice versa. You're also able to share files between your friends' devices as well, if they are on your Wi-Fi network. Now this feature is super useful if you want to, say, send a picture to your iPad, or if you've just taken a picture on your iPad and you want to share it on your Mac, or if you have some music on your Mac and you want to send it to your iPad, you can do this using the AirDrop feature. So to get started, we first need to make sure that AirDrop is enabled on your iOS device. To do this, go to your iOS device and just swipe up from the bottom and there you'll get this settings screen. Click on the AirDrop button and from there you're able to select the options for sharing on AirDrop. You can either turn AirDrop off, select contacts only, which means you'll only be able to share AirDrop files with people on your contacts list, or you can select everyone. In this case, I'm going to select everyone. Now, if you're worried about security, don't worry too much as any files that are sent backwards and forwards between your Mac and iOS device have to be confirmed before they are sent. Now that we've enabled AirDrop on the iOS device, we can go ahead and open up AirDrop on the Mac. There are two ways to do this. The first is to go to your hard drive and then select AirDrop. The quicker and better way to do this is to use the command shift R key and that will automatically load up AirDrop. As you can see here, it has found my iPad. So we're now able to send files to my iPad. So to share a file between your Mac and iPad is really easy. All you need to do is drag and drop the file onto the icon corresponding to that device. In this case, I have a picture on my desktop that I want to share with my iPad. So I'm going to click, drag and drop it onto my iPad. After a few seconds, we should get a notification on my iPad to either accept or decline it. I'll go ahead and accept. And that file now should be sent. Now, what happens if you want to send a file the other way? say a picture from your iPad to your Mac. Well, this is very easy. In this example, since I'm going to be sending a picture, I'll go ahead and open up the Photos app, select the picture I want to send, go to the Share button at the bottom left-hand side, and then from there, we should be given the AirDrop option. After a few seconds, it should notice that my MacBook Air is available to AirDrop with, I can then just go ahead and click on Simon's MacBook Air here. And after a few seconds, it should pop up and say that the iPad is trying to share a file with the Mac. I'll go ahead and save that file. And we've now shared the file between the iPad and the Mac. How easy is that? Now, if you don't happen to have the AirDrop app opened on your Mac, it doesn't matter. If I go ahead and send that file again, you'll see what happens. You're given a nice notification on the right hand side of the screen saying that a photo from Simon's iPad is trying to be sent to you. Do you want to accept or decline it? I'll go ahead and accept it again. And as you can see, the blue circle comes up on the icon saying that it's been sent. That will then save to your downloads folder and we get a nice notification saying that that file has been downloaded. So guys, I hope you found that feature useful. This is a feature I use all the time just to share music and photos between not only my devices, but my friends' devices as well. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.